What's up, guys? We're here at Bud Francis Powerhouse Gym. We're one, we're one day out before the New York Pro, and um, it's Friday afternoon, and we're about to do Wayne's. Ninety nine point eight. He'll be all right. He cheated, is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. Are you not on a cheat meal at all? He did, he had eight thumbs. <laughs> yeah, but usually, like in the past, like I've cheated, I had more cheat meals, which I cheated for all day. Not only does it help my metabolism, but it also helps to maintain, excuse me, also helps to maintain my body weight. So that I don't drop too fast. So what made you not decide to do any cheats this time? Yeah, just working with a new prep coach, which is factory and just wanted to do things differently. So his approach is bring you in drier, more peeled than anything. Don't really worry about the weight right now. And we'll just eat up, you know, throughout the day. Fill it up from here on out. Mm -hmm. As of right now, you start eating, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna go to the barber shop, get a hot shave. And then um, go home, barbecue my food, rest up a little bit, and then head into the factory and then get yeah, to the city. Good morning, guys. It's um, a little before 6 o'clock in the morning. Right now, I'm doing a little bit of work on a computer. I'm going to go eat. And then from there, we had a little trouble with um, spray tanning last night. So I'm going to head to where the event's being held get spray tanned, um, go to the meeting, and try to squeeze in a few more meals before I hit pre-judging. So looking forward to hopping on stage and you know filling out right now and showing everyone the major improvements that I made and getting my fourth title. Time to do this. Right now we're at the Tribeca Performing Arts Center and getting this fitting a little behind schedule. Gotta go get spray tan by Santana, squeeze in a quick meal, then try to relax a little bit before free judging which starts at 11 o'clock. Right now, we're at the Tribeca Performing Arts Center. I just finished getting spray tan by Chantana, a couple of coats. Feeling real good, about to eat up. You know, I have my family support here. This is my younger brother, Jimmy. Um, he's a huge bodybuilding fan. He's also a power lifter, so just looking forward, you know, he gets a mass, you know. My brother, I love him to death, to support me since day one, and um, just really glad that he's here. I'm here right now at the Rebecca Performing Arts Center. I'm in about a little over an hour, I'll be going on stage to compete with my biggest rival, one of my closest friends, Jose Raymond. Jose and I have become really close friends and we're like brothers now for the last couple of years. Um, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal person besides being, you know, one of the best bodybuilders in the world. And every time I hop on the stage against him, I hate it, but at the same time, Jose pushes me to another level, and I would never ever push that hard if it wasn't for this guy. Because we're neck and neck. So, you know, I'm looking again to hop on stage, we're both looking for victory. You know, and uh, I love this guy with all my heart. I love you too, buddy. This guy's been like a mentor to me for the last few years, and, uh, you know, very interesting story. A couple of years ago, you we were on PBW. Nobody knew who I was. 
and they said, is there any dark horses coming into the Olympia that uh, you might want to keep your eye on? And Kevin said, this Jose kid, if he keeps it up, he's going to be, he's gonna be uh, pain in the ass for everybody. And sure enough, the next year I was fourth, third, and climbing the charts now. So uh, it's good. You can see from the get-go, once they turn pro, that um, this year's show is going to be great. You can just see the package. Like, no one carries you know, so much muscle in their frame, you know, it's kind of thick the city does. So, um, like, I know from, you know from myself and everything, because I carry a lot, a lot of muscle in my frame. I saw right away that this guy was going to be a huge threat. And, um, you know, I'm away from my heels when I train. I'm not doing nothing to compete against those so like, You know, again, it's like a hate-love thing because I hate to compete against them. But um, I love them to death, you know. So, again, like, if it wasn't for Jose, I would never push as hard. And I'm just glad that, you know, we were able to have such a close bond like, outside of competing, you know, outside of bodybuilding. People don't realize that bodybuilding is such a short-term sport, you know. But um, the friendships and the bonds that you make, you know, here or anywhere else, lasts forever. And the bond that Jose and I have will always last forever. So I'm just glad to learn, you know, brothers. Absolutely. And Kevin's a calming influence, too. When we're on stage together, we actually have a great time. You know, this isn't all business. It, all the hard work is done now. It's out of our hands. It's, it's up to judges and fans. To, they can debate all they want. Now we have fun. We get on... We get to pose next to each other. We get to ham it up a little bit, but there's no anger, nothing. You know, we have fun. We love each other like brothers, and uh, I want him to win. Well, I don't, I, I, want, I, don't, I don't want him to beat me. I don't want him to beat me. I want, I want to beat him, but I want him to win. I want him to be his best. You no, know, but um, you know, like I said, like Jose's like a dominant threat at any show that he does, and you know. What can I say? Like this guy is just top notch. Top notch as a competitor, as a pro bodybuilder. Top notch as an individual. Top notch as a brother. Like you name it. Like this guy would give their back. You know, the shirt off his back for you at any moment. Give you his last dollar. Like, do go out of his way to do anything and everything for you. He's done it for me numerous times. So I'm saying thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to the Look at you, baby. routines. This is the one minute individual presentation. So let's welcome our first competitor. Here for the first time is pro debut from Bahrain. Please welcome Semi El Haddad. Thank you. 
you, Guy Sisterino. September 18, from Bellevue, Washington, making his IFBB Pro debut, Nathan DeTracy. Thank you, Nathan DeTracy. September 19, from Ontario, Canada, Claudio Montoya Edwards. Thank you, Montoya Edwards. Show starts at six. 
but I won't be going on probably somewhere it's like around eight or nine. So just finished eating, just let my stomach digest a little bit, feel a lot fuller than this morning, and feel like I'm hardening up a little bit more, which I needed to do. So right now I'm just gonna take it easy, relax, and head back to the show. <laughs> so guys, this is all about. Um, right before the finals, I'm about to get oiled up, and you know, look, really looking forward to going out tonight and showing my fans what I got and gonna get this victory. It's time to do it up, baby. Our next competitor has won at this stage three times in his career to go as his three Olympia titles. And right here in Dix Hills, New York, your reigning 202 Olympia champion, Kevin English. For the 212 awards, you ready? Yeah! All right. Can you have the following gentlemen on stage at this time, please? Sammy El Haddad. Jose Raymond. Kevin English. We can go right into the awards right now, folks. I'm thinking that you guys want to pose now, is that right? Good, but once again, not New York good. New York, you want to pose now?
you think, folks? Who's got it? You may take the third place award, the third place check. For our third place finisher tonight, Jose Raymond. Award. Second place check for our runner up this evening. Sammy L. Haddad. First place check the Olympia qualification in the title. 2012 New York Pro 212 champ. Our winner and reigning Olympia champion. Just what it's all about, hard work, dedication, hard work, dedication, right now really emotional, um, had some struggles the last couple of weeks, coming into the show, I thought I was going to have to back out, I actually had the flu, and bronchitis, and um, just trying to keep it underneath the wraps, a lot of people didn't know, um, just family, and very close friends, um, so it's very panicking, couldn't train, couldn't eat, couldn't do cardio. It's just a mess for like about almost two weeks. And I um, still have bronchitis, but I'm getting over it right now. And it's just a blessing, you know, that's able to, you know, continue tonight. You know, come back strong. I knew in the morning that I was a little off, it was a little flat. So I figured once I ate up and everything like that, I would be fine fill out, which I did this evening, and um, feel really, really good, you know, glad I got this victory, but I have a lot of work to do going into the Olympia, you know, so um, I'm just going to take it easy for a couple of days, just have some photo shoots to do, um, probably if it's like Wednesday or Thursday, and then from there, I'm just going to do some light training for a week, and then get back to it and start Olympia training already. You know, and I'm not going to go far off the diet, and I want to try to put on some clean muscle. Because usually after shows, when your body responds and rebounds the best, we can put on good quality muscle. Thank you guys for everything. I love you, fans. What do you think about Kevin's tonight? Uh, you know, I think it's really, really close. I think that obviously, you know, Kevin's coming off with some illness. You know, he's a little bit light for, for him. You know, we all know that Kevin's normally around, you know, 220. Uh, when you, by the time he dials it in, he's gonna be 215, 220. Um, obviously, I didn't work with him this year, so it's I don't, you know I don't know what went wrong, but I do know that he was sick. He, I talked to him a little bit this morning, and he had uh, you know he was on antibiotics and a lot of other things with that bug that's been going around. But I do think that it was uh, close because you had a couple of really good contenders. Jose looked good, Sammy looked amazing. And these guys are all right on his heels, so he's got to just you know take it up a notch coming the Olympia time. But I think the competition here is super super fierce, and uh, I just want to thank Steve Weinberger and IFBB for uh, having the show out here in New York because I love coming out here in May, man.
The show was a really good show. I, uh, you know, I, I saw, I saw Kevin uh, that he brought it tonight in the morning. He was really like he was very off, and uh, I had him third in the morning. But tonight he really like he really brought it and. Uh, you know you gotta you gotta really knock the champion, man. I mean, I you know I'm walking, I'm working with Sammy, and I really wanted to see Sammy winning, but Sammy's excited to be second, man. It's his first pro show, and I told him it's gonna be impossible to beat Mr. Olympia right away. So he understands it. He's gotta pay his dues, and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm very happy because Kevin is my boy too, so I love the guy. You know, we've been friends forever, and that's all, man. Jose was, uh, you know, Jose was. Really good, but I really wanted to see Jose a little drier because he would have probably beat them both, you know. So, yeah, this is my alpha, bro. Anybody works with me, I'll be a dark horse. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd seen Kevin better. Uh, I think, you know, being a true champion, he stuck out the whole night. I, I respect the fact that he came back better tonight. Uh, whether he should have won or not, you know, that, that took up in the air. You know, Samuel Haddad was a little tighter. Kevin obviously had a lot more mass. And look, he's the reigning champion. The champion has to be knocked out. Obviously, the judges didn't feel he was knocked out tonight. I know this is going to light a fire under his ass, and he'll probably come back to the Olympia better than ever. So uh, I wish him the best of luck. Number one, baby. That's right, you're going to kick some fucking ass, right? Nobody, you're not scared of none of them fucking guys, right? I haven't been scared of anyone since I was three years old. Not a boy. Well, anyway, Thank congratulations, you. Kevin. You Thanks rock, bro. All right. <laughs> I look forward to his fuck off. <laughs> I look forward to his DVD in a couple of months. That's what's up. All right. What's up? Why, is that running? Yeah, that's running. Yeah, fucking no. Hey, who the fuck's going to beat him? Nobody. You know who that is? That's Kevin English. Fucking if you, king. Hey, baby. listen to this. I got, a, I got a new statement for that, okay? If you don't know English, get the fuck out of here. Okay, how's that? Get it? If you don't know English, get out. <laughs> 2-1-2 representing the 2-1-2 all day, baby. That's it. Fuck off.